Hey Cougars! Every year, the Savage Club, which is the Sexuality and Gender Acceptance Club, hosts a Day of Solidarity here at Vernon Hills High School. This year's Day of Solidarity is happening this Friday, April 16th. But what is solidarity? To me, solidarity means love, unity, and a mutual understanding between a group of people. Let's make sure the students who identify as part of the LGBTQ plus community in our school feel loved and accepted. Historically, many schools and universities have celebrated a day of silence in April. Day of Silence was created by college students in the 1990s as a national demonstration where LGBTQ students and allies all around the country and the world took a vow of silence to protest the harmful effects of harassment and discrimination of LGBTQ people in schools. In 2017, the students of Vernon Hills Saga Club decided to change the focus to solidarity instead of silence in honor of the activists who broke out of silence and used their voices to fight for LGBTQ plus rights and inclusion. Rather than focusing on silence, our focus is on LGBTQ plus visibility and allyship. Show your solidarity with the LGBTQ community by wearing red and signing the Day of Solidarity Pledge on Friday, April 16th. If you're online, watch your email, and if you're in person, watch for a table in the foyer to sign the pledge. Whether you choose to wear red, sign the pledge, or show solidarity in your own way, it's important to support your LGBTQ peers. Showing solidarity isn't just a one-day thing. Here are some ways you can be an ally to LGBTQ people every day. Always respect people's pronouns, which are the words you use instead of their name when you talk about them. When someone tells you a set of pronouns to use, only use those pronouns when referring to them and do not use the wrong ones. However, if you mess up, just apologize, correct yourself, and move on. If you don't know someone's pronouns, try to only use their name when referring to them until they tell you their pronouns. Sharing your own pronouns when you introduce yourself can help others feel comfortable sharing theirs too. Don't speak negatively about LGBTQ plus people and identities, and don't use them as insults. Call out people who do those things, especially if they're your friends and family. Not tolerating homophobia and transphobia from people around you helps to get rid of those harmful ideas as a whole. Don't assume anyone's identity and try to use language that doesn't convey any assumptions about gender or orientation. For example, instead of saying, do you have a girlfriend, you could say, are you dating anyone? Remember that Saga Club is open to anyone. You can join our Google Classroom through the Student Activities page or reach out to our sponsors, Ms. Christian and Mrs. Branick.